That's right, guys. In today's spicy video, we are going to be building an OP villager farm. This thing is going to be pumping out a bunch of hard workers. Now, you might be asking, why an OP villager farm? Well, I mean, we do have a whole kingdom that we got to fill up. And I'm trying to get as many villagers as I can because I'm naming a lot of these villagers after my subscribers. So if you guys are new here and you do enjoy the video, make sure you guys smash that like button, hit subscribe, join the Paul GG army, and possibly join the kingdom. And let's get into episode six of Minecraft Hardcore. All right, here we go it's official we're gonna be building up a villager farm so then we're able to have as many villagers as we want in this kingdom if you guys did miss the last video we built up this beautiful kingdom and i do enjoy it quite a lot might i say running around in it also for some reason all the iron golems are sitting over here next to the potato farm for some reason either way we're not talking about potato farm today we're talking about villager breeder here just to give you guys kind of like an understanding of what's exactly going to be happening in this kingdom let me just real quick fly all the way up here and then we'll just uh boom screenshot okay nice so on this corner of the entire uh, kingdom this is all going to be industrial zone this is where i'm going to build up probably the villager breeder thing right here village okay yeah i don't have room and nor the ability to write properly with a mouse um this is where our dope mine shaft is going to end up being so like like i said this corner is pretty much going to be like the industrial section of the entire kingdom we're pretty much all the big Big, supposed to be intentionally semi-ugly builds are gonna be but at the same time they're gonna look kind of old-timey i don't know i got a vision don't worry it's gonna look sick but my goal for the villager breeder is to possibly have some sort of like a shoot poop shoot type thing where the villagers are gonna you know spawn in and then get sent all the way over here and then dumped out into the village itself maybe into the mountain and then over here and then into the yeah that's way better let's just get rid of oh wait i can't get rid of it and then what i'm thinking about doing is over here building up a giant oh P villager tower. This thing is going to be insane. This is where I'm going to be doing all my insane stonkaroonies. This is where all the high class tradesmen are going to be. And I'm just saying that this thing is going to be pog. I'm talking about all sorts of redstone stuff going on in here as well. I want it close to my house, by the way, if you didn't notice. That's where that's why it's over here. And then over here, I'm just going to continue to build out kind of more farms and stuff just to add to the aesthetic of the village. But I mean, th that's nothing too special and it's not going to take too much time. I'll be honest. Now over here, though, I'm not entirely certain, guys. Comment down below. What should we build right over here? This is what I'm curious of because we're going to have a good chunk of room right here as well. And then the rest of the builds, I think, are going to be inside the mountains themselves. Wait, actually, I just realized. I know it goes here. Nether portal. Nice. Nether. Okay, I give up. We're, we're going to... Yeah, we just need to do stuff. Real quick, before we get into building up this villager farm, what I do want to do is do a couple of errands, okay? It won't take too much time. We just got to go to the grocery store real quick, kids. What do you? What would you like? Do we want anything from the grocery store? Because mama needs some wood real quick. Mama needs what? <laughs> I just accidentally hit a beehive and then I insta mined it. So guys, we have a bee's nest now. I feel responsible like a uh, like a parent. Oh wait, you, you wanted to come home. And he's like, what the hell, man? He's like, what's up? Why would you take my house? Get inside. Get inside. Get inside. You belong to me now. Wait, there's another one. Come on, butter butt. Get in. Come on. Get beehive. Thank you. Okay, nice. Achievement. Easy. We'll do something with that later. But for now, we have more errands. <laughs> one thing that I do definitely need, especially after building up that entire kingdom, is I need some bamboo to build with a... You know what I'm saying? Cool. Uh, I need to build some scaffoldings. I'm so tired of not having scaffolds. I'm trying to remember if this is the jungle that had a bamboo forest or if it was the other jungle. And I'm starting to realize it's the other jungle. So let me just fly all the way this way now. Okay, I'm discovering now also that uh, this jungle forest also does not have uh, a bamboo forest in it. And um, that sucks. So I'm just going to have to real quick just chop down a couple little bamboos. I'm sure we'll still get plenty out of it. All right, a little over a stack and a half should be plenty to be able to build up a handful of scaffoldings. And now let me run down into the mines real quick where I can grab up plenty of string from the spider farm and throw together all my scaffoldings. My, sca my scaffoldings. Which besides, I do need to hang out in the mines because I... I am going to need a whole lot of stone again because, well, I used pretty much all of my stone in the last uh, video. So here, let's get to mining real quick. Even though this is cobblestone and I got to smelt it down. I wish I had silk touch on my pickaxe. Oh, it's just so painful. Before I overcommit, I'm going to attempt to get silk touch. Maybe I could get lucky. Maybe it's maybe leaf because I do still... Oh, that's the wrong shoulder box on. Because I do still have an extra diamond pick. I can throw on the enchantment table and possibly get silk 
silk touch a breaking three that's that's all i got nice give it one more go here efficiency three silk touch and i'm breaking three we're insane gamers now i never have to smelt down stone again we're in the clear baby so now i can easily just mine out all of the stone oh yeah this is beautiful all i need to do is put mending on this thing and we should be in the clear we'll be we'll be gucci gang uh now i'm coming into a cave on this side it's fine i'll just take a handful of stone real quick and then i'll just kind of close it back up and act like this was never even here there we go and i'll just get back to work on my normal side Now, real quick, before we get started on this villager farm, what I wanted to do is kind of spruce up this side of the village where the actual potato farm is, which actually I haven't really opened in a while. And oh yeah, no, nope, that's uh, that's filling up. But also we did a raid in the last video and uh, we unfortunately lost a, a good a good soul, a hard worker right here. So those gentlemen up here, if you don't mind just coming down here, what are you doing out there? I need you to come down, take this job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you. Come on down. Now, let me just place a huge here and then now can i get you to go up there come on up and in there beautiful okay nope 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 out nope up yes up up no no bad iron golem face out of here get out of here i hate this iron golem dude he's just he's, oh it's this there we go yes no yes there we go now the only thing i want to do is make sure he buys potatoes because we are the potato boys we always stay repping on them taters and there we go and just to lock in these trades and besides i am going to need a lot of emeralds for for today's video anyways because i uh agreed in the last video that i was going to name 10 of the current villagers after 10 subscribers in the last comment sec in the comment section of the last video that took all my brain cells to say okay why are you already up charging me what kind of disrespect and i'll move on to the next guy then you want my tatoes then oh well but if i'm gonna be getting name tags then i'm gonna have to max out my librarian villager so that i can easily just buy them and not have to hunt them all down a little over a stack of emeralds real quick and then we also just have a few stacks at home so we should should be good on getting those uh, name tags. Like I said, real quick, I want to kind of spruce this side of the uh, village up by kind of building up a couple regular style villager farms. So, does the wood normally go like this? Ah, well, it's going to go like this in this village because that looks cool. I'm debating if I want to do the whole one water in the center or if I want to do the rows because the rows do look cool. I'm not going to lie. I mean, I'm not using this thing for farming anyways. Might as well go for the aesthetics. And then I'll probably build up another one over here. This one will probably be a bit longer then we just fill it all in like so then we just gotta till the fields real quick and then of course plant down some potatoes hey you know what just because i don't gotta force all these to be potatoes might as well put down some wheat seeds i also forgot you gotta put down some jobs for them so that we actually have some farmers roaming around over here and then here how about just to fill in this corner a little bit more we build up this kind of like dookie shack where it's like the guy that lives in the edge of the town you know that like he's everyone knows he's crazy and doesn't really talk to him because he's crazy he lives in like a really decrepit type of house that's gonna be this villager <laughs> So we got to kind of like make his house look a little bit funky and maybe put some holes like this with a staircase so then it doesn't really look too perfect. The stone walls are falling apart. And there we go. Who wants to live in the crazy guy's dilapidated house? I assume a farmer's going to end up in here because, well, I mean, you know, it's right next to the farms. Uh, so that's pretty rad. <laughs> but now finally moving away from that uh, nasty, ugly build and hopefully onto a far better looking build. Uh, we're going to start working on the villager farm real quick. I'm debating how exactly I want to do this. I think I won't really know how i want to do it until well i really start building it um <laughs> because unfortunately but also fortunately this corner is a little bit too far away from the actual village itself so the villagers don't necessarily wander over there that well on their own that's why i kind of want to make some sort of like system that'll be able to put villagers maybe through the mountain and then pushed out over here or something like maybe somewhere over here we just build out kind of like a pond and this will be kind of like where they land since it is a little bit closer to these houses and then they'll sense that there's like beds because they got spidey senses like that but also i think it'll just add some nice character to the to the kingdom there we go now that we got our pond all set up now let's get to building this thing up my goal is to have it a few blocks off the ground at least a decent bit i want it to have a nice looking outline as well there we go just a little something like this and then all i need to do is kind of create a platform like this okay while i'm on my way up here to shear some sheep for uh, some beds i actually got a 
wandering trader. Well, good sir. It appears you're selling me a lot of dyes that I don't need. Leave the kingdom. I don't need you here. And now I want to fill in these walls with a little bit of glass like so. Because I want them to feel like they're just in a in a fish tank up here. It's in a tiny little bubble. But this side I'm going to leave open because this side is going to have some trap doors like this. Then on the other side of the trap doors over here is going to be another platform with more trap doors like so and then this platform is going to have a few beds on it like this so then every time the villagers breed they'll have a kid and then the kid will see the bed and then he'll come over here and want to go bouncy bouncy on the bed but he's not going to be able to because he's going to fall into this hole which we'll get to next what i also do need to do is set up these trap doors like this so that the parents can't get out not like they're very responsible for their kids anyways i mean be real you guys are gonna hate me but the more i'm building this the more i'm deciding not to use the wood and i'm thinking about using some bricks because i still have bricks and i really like the way that look you know the stone and the brick combo i feel like brick actually creates like a really nice industrial style so we're gonna try this out real quick we're gonna see how it looks and if i don't like it jake maybe we just cut this entire section out and uh i don't look dumb like i just wasted a bunch of time doing this oh yeah no yeah now the bricks the bricks the play we're going with brick 120 percent bricks all the way because stone brick is such a good accent to it it looks like, like i added the stairs to make it look kind of like supports with the uh trap doors also i'm vibing too hard with it this is the new meta for me i'm becoming a brick guy now we're on to the next portion of this where i need to kind of build up the little like shoot system where the villagers are going to be falling into so let's just go like right here and maybe we go down one more and then this part i kind of want to make out of wood because it's going to look kind of like a sled and it's going to go right into the side of the mountain like this and we're going to strip all these logs add up a few more walls since villagers can't jump over walls then underneath it i'll probably add some like stairs or something like that just to kind of change up the shape a bit or i did just realize one big issue which is that water only goes up to eight blocks so then i'd be losing a lot of height and i'd have to drop down this side so i think i'm instead i'm gonna bring this side up one block which means i gotta chop literally all this wood and since baby villagers are only one block this should be fine i'm not too worried about the villagers really getting stuck in here other than this i do need to get rid of that so now let me test this out by swimming in here there we go mm, the only problem is that it is gonna ruin the aesthetic of this thing i guess what i could do is put some glass in here and at least that way we could be able to see the little villagers getting scooted along in here because then i'll add some water like so it'll push all the villagers down to here where there will be even more water and then that'll push them into the mountain and then i'll continue that water stream all the way around to that side where the pond is going to be we just finished up with this and then let's start mining out this tunnel so quick update with the water tunnel i'm having an issue where i'm already i already know i'm too low i already know that for a, a dang fact Here, actually let's see exactly where we are with this but i do know i'm too low ah we're literally right here too because water's got to go down every single time because it only goes eight blocks and then it got to go down and then down and down. So then by the time it gets all the way over here, it's probably going to be even below the pond. But there is one workaround for this, but I do have to go to the nether for it. And I haven't been into the nether since like episode one. But regardless though, I have to go to the nether because I have to get some soul sand and then I can be able to make a bubble elevator. And if I make a bubble elevator, what are you talking to me? Then I can easily just be able to make it as high as I want. I've just been holding off on going to the nether over here because, well, I mean, I just didn't really feel like it i'll be completely honest i'm a little lazy so here let's just build up a temporary portal and then we'll transform this portal later and make it gigantic and magnificent now let's light this up real quick and let's see how okay we saw literally spawned in a soul sand biome which is perfect and it looks like i've been over there i mean we're really not that far from where i made the original portal wait is this this is the original this is where i spawned. there's the fortress over there on episode one this is literally where i was so that means that the portal i created underground in the caves means that that's close enough to them where I'm making my main portal. It's kind of funny, actually, and I'm okay with it considering there's literally a fortress right there. Hello, a blaze spawner farm. Regardless, though, we're just here for some soul saying, and that yeah, that's it. Then I'll also need some kelp for the bubble elevator as well. So now I can continue this water a few more blocks. Well, I uh I can't confirm the water tunnels working. Why do I keep getting so many of these guys? Hodzel, pumpkin, it's, it's all dadooki. You guys are also in my way, and this is kind of an issue so i'm kind of need you all to go i'm sorry goodbye regardless now all i need to do is 
is make a couple of gates so I can be able to stop the water flow entirely like that. And then I got to put down the soul sand. Nope, nope, not like that. Right there. Then dig up however many blocks I want. It really doesn't need to be that tall though because we're literally already there. Then fill this all in. And then I got to do is uh, break it like that. And then it should be a water elevator. Bubbles, there they are. Okay. Ooh, I was like, is it working? My only thing is, if I remember correctly, when you build a water elevator like this, it kind of doesn't work because villagers will stop on this one block instead of going into it. So I think if you place that, is that how that works? I mean, it's a kid villager. Likelihood of them going into the water is pretty high anyways, right? Regardless though, this is high enough. So then now all I need to do is kind of mine out the actual tunnel, which here, let's make it one block higher since the water goes all the way up like so. There we go. Ooh, that's perfect. So now we'll continue that same kind of industrial theme and then we'll bring it over here and then it'll dump them right into the pond. Now let me just plug up this ugly tunnel right there and then actually i think what i gotta do is put water right there nope still didn't work okay regardless we'll test it out that works perfectly and then now all i need to do is pretty much just finish up with this water slide and then also line it up with a bunch of walls like so and then place a water bucket right there and it should cascade all the way down into the pond where the villager is going to get dumped off and then the baby villager will sense that there's beds nearby and run straight over to the beds and then they're a part of the village then all i want to do real quick is kind of just spruce this thing up a little bit more adding a little bit more brown on the bottom to it so then you can be able to actually see the color then here you know what just because this thing is a part of the kingdom i do kind of want to spruce this up a little bit too so let's just real quick there we go that looks much better now it actually looks like it should be a part of the kingdom i mean like it looks pretty spicy i want to replace the torches with lanterns whenever we finally get iron you know because i don't have an iron farm in here yet actually yeah where am i gonna put that oh yeah in the mountain i think i'm gonna put that in the mountain Regardless, though, luckily, I do remember that we had a uh, taiga not too far away, so I was able to get some mossy stone. One thing I do wish I had was lily pads, but I have no idea where a uh, swamp is. So this is what we're working with for now, and it looks like a vibe still. Back to the task at hand and building this thing. Another thing I am going to need is to put villagers up here. So let's just real quick make ooh, a staircase up here to where I'm going to have them climb. So now all I need to do is try to lure these guys over here with work. Come on, come on, buddy. I know it's the morning time, but still, you got to get to work, chief. Oh, it's just the worst dealing with villagers. I hate these guys. Instead, I'll get the hardest workers in the game, a farmer. He's going to breed some really... <laughs> The OP hard workers. Oh, here we go. Now we got two to tango. That's what I'm talking about. Come on, guys. Both y'all up here. Oh, yeah, they're chatting because they know that they're going to be stuck to each other forever. Stuck to each other with each other. Same energy. All right. Now they're going to come over here and it's raining. It's always got to rain, man. Regardless. Come on, guys. Get inside where it's safe. And you don't got to worry about anything. And in you go and in you go. Nice. Don't worry, guys. I'll be back with Tato's. Trust me. Now let's just give them an overload on Tato's real quick. And then hopefully I need to make sure this actually works i'm confident that for sure they'll pop out a baby right because they could path to this technically i need the demonstration i need to know it works there we go we got a kid then one thing i am worried about is this little section right here so you know what here let me just put stairs like that all right come on over kid i'm trying to play in bed wait a second i looked away for like two seconds oh there he goes oh yeah all right perfect i looked away literally for a second but my mains is going but he's fighting the current oh and he's gone he's gone good luck sir we'll see you on the other end because i need to make sure that the bubble element elevator works because that's my only worry is the bubble elevator so now let's see he should come right out of here and straight down this anytime now any sec he'll be on his way All right, we may have an issue. This hasn't come up yet, which is making me think that he's stuck right there in that one block. Can't swim against the current. So now I got to ride the water slide. Let's see. Where's he stuck at? Ah, he is stuck on the one block. What happens if I just break that? Nope, because then that connects. Okay, that's not it. You know what? Actually, I think I do have a massive brain idea. I think I need to break the bubble elevator and then move it down one block. Except my soul sand literally just got thrown all the way down this way. All right, and finally, after much, much trial and error, let's see. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, he got 
got stuck on literally one block. That's not cool. Um, let me just push him through, but I did forget to put down one more of these. There we go. But now it finally works though. This has taken me far longer than it should have, but we're finally there. He goes up and out and right into the pond, or then he could go figure out what he wants to do with his life. Look at him. Look at him go. Now this thing is technically fully automatic. The only thing that I need to do is every now and then just feed the villagers some potatoes. Basically just one stack each, which I mean, that thing puts out like 30 stacks a day. So I think we're in the clear on that. Now that the auto villaginator is all done, it's time to get to naming some villagers though. Starting off by doing some more trades with my potato boys because I need a lot more emeralds. Now that we got all of our emeralds, I'm going to go do some trades with our men. Are you serious? I could just break my neck on on that. Okay. All right. Minecraft. I mean, disrespect me like that. Oh, look, there's another kid running out of the, the auto villaginator. He's just cruising out. I'm talking about. Okay, but where's my mending boy? Oh, there he is. Whew, got a little worried for a second there. Didn't know where he was. All right, good, sir. I'm going to have to do some trades, which means I got to buy bookshelves. Okay, and boom, you leveled up. I just need you to give me name tags. Okay, unbreaking. Wow. Okay, but he buys books and that I have a lot of. So now I can just be able to sell him a ton of books, which actually, you know what? I do need to buy um some unbreaking books because my elytra still doesn't have unbreaking on it. All right, now he is buying ink sacks and selling what? Blah, 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 blah. So now he's buying ink sacks and he's selling glass, which is honestly I could care less about, but I will buy a few of these to turn them into better unbreaking books and then uh, put it on the elytra. And now he leveled up off of that as well. And he doesn't sell me name tags. I thought that was name tag time, but instead it's not. It's not name tag time. Instead, I have to buy a bunch of compasses because that's what I want to do. And now he's leveled up though. Oh, there it is. Name tags, baby, which I do have to buy 10 name tags. So let's see. How many can I get? One, two, three, four. Come on. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Boom. There we go. 10 name tags. I just realized it's already day 99. It's day 99. We're about to survive 100 days in this video on our hardcore world. It's actually kind of epic. I'm not going to lie. A lot of the days went into building each and every single one of these houses, though. That's for sure. But now it's finally time to start naming some of these villagers. Starting off with clowns. And over here, we're going to have Sophia. And then you could be uh, Drayden. Thank you. Then we have Akansha. And then you will be Astronut because Astronut had a funny name and it made me laugh. And this actually works out because let me see real quick. Come here. I need to name you cat. Someone wants to be you. Okay, screw it. I'm running. I'm going to get you. Come on. Ooh, there we go. Jinx wanted to be a cat. There you go. Then Riley, you could be a farmer. And Gibbs wants to be security. So you get to be an iron golem. You're a bodyguard. There we go. And then Moose, thank you for the suggestion on the uh, the lodestone thing of being a part of the uh, center of the, the kingdom monument. I do have an idea for what I'm going to put here now in the center of the kingdom, by the way. I just need to be able to build it up and it will incorporate a lodestone so then I can be able to have a compass that'll always point home and it'll be perfect but the last name for the kingdom is going to be Jasper which wants to be a sheep if you guys want to join the kingdom make sure you guys comment down below also subscribe because you guys got to be a part of the subscriber this is the subscriber kingdom after all so make sure you join the Paul GG army and make sure to drop a like if you guys did enjoy the video though and you guys want to see some more epic builds like this and for now I will see you guys in the next one